Uh, hello viewers uh, welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is lessa fever which is uh, most commonly known as uh, viral hemorrhagic fever uh, are the more, the, these are the infectious disease and uh, better interfere with the blood's ability to clot you know and uh, these diseases can also damage uh, the walls of the tiny blood vessels uh, making them leaky and uh, the internal bleeding that results uh, can range from relatively minor to life-threatening and uh, some viral hemorrhagic fevers are include like dengue fever, uh, Ebola fever, uh, like uh, Lessa fever, and uh, uh, Marburg fever, or yellow fever, you know. And uh, so these are the most uh, uh, common types of the uh, viral hemorrhagic fevers, and uh, uh, every fever has. Uh, own causes you know and uh, signs and symptoms are uh, nearly the same you know and uh, uh, these diseases most uh, commonly occur in the tropical areas of the world uh, when viral hemorrhagic fevers occur in the United States they are usually found in the people who recently traveled to those areas you know and uh, uh, the fever these fevers spread by the contact with infected animals and uh, peoples or the insects you know and uh, no current treatment can uh, cure the viral hemorrhagic fevers and the immunization exists for only a few of types of them you know and uh, uh, until the, uh, uh, the most advanced vaccinations are developed uh, and the best approach is prevention you know and uh, so you, you need to be very careful when you are going to those areas and use the nets and the mosquito repellents you know uh, just to uh, uh, keep the mosquitoes uh, who carry the uh, those viruses uh, to keep down away you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more information thank you good luck